Today's episode is called, The Black Box. A top-secret Air Force camera, equipped with a detonating device to prevent its capture, falls out of a plane, and lands at Shady Rest. Guest star, Fred Clark, who played Harry Morton opposite B. Bennett Errett, in 75 episodes of the George Burns and Gracie Allen show. Original air date, April 6, 1965. Come ride the little train that is rolling down the tracks to the junction. Forget about your cares, it is time to relax at the junction. Lots of curves, you bet, and even more when you get to the junction. Petticoat Junction. There's a little hotel called the Shady Rest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. It is run by Kate. Come and be her guest at the junction. Petticoat Junction. And that's Uncle Joe. He's a moving kind of slow at the junction. Petticoat Junction. Mm. Cut that out! <laughs> You'd think that Air Force would know we've got a 25 mile an hour speed limit in Hooterville. <laughs> uh, is there anything else you can think of you need for spring cleaning, Kate? No, I, I don't think so, Sam. It's a. Uh... Where's the dog? Here, boy! <laughs> Must have jumped in the pickle barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing I forgot to order pickles. <laughs> Say, he has a nice dill smell about him. <laughs> You're gonna need spring cleaning, too. Sam, would you mind putting these things in a bag for me? I gotta get back to the hotel. Sure. Joe know you're starting spring cleaning? Yeah, I brought the news to him this morning. I guess he headed for the hills. No, I persuaded him to stay around and help. Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom gave me strict orders. I just want to get out so I can get the spring cleaning started. Well, why don't you start in your room? I'd rather start downstairs. <laughs> Let me out! Let me out! Sounds like Uncle Joe's going stir crazy. <laughs> like a camera. No, sir. Well, it may not look like one, but let me tell you something, son. This little baby is capable of photographing the name on a golf ball from 20 miles up. Yes, sir. Uh, you realize that the success of this test depends upon your maintaining a constant altitude and speed. Well, Roger. <laughs> uh, one small detail has been added to this camera since your earlier briefing. In the interest of security, a detonating device which is timed to destroy the camera 12 hours after it's been disconnected or removed from the plane. 
So let's be a little careful with it, shall we? That'll be all. We'll go. <laughs> uh, Colonel, I think you better stop watching all those old movies on late TV. Carry on. <laughs> Colonel. <laughs> Betty Jo, you get mopping and swabbing detail. Billy Jo, dusting and sweeping. And Uncle Joe, airing out the bedding and the blankets. I've got to write a composition for English class. Oh, I've got just the title for you. How I Tried to Get Out of Mopping and Swabbing Detail But Didn't by Betty Jo Bradley. <laughs> now, this hotel has got to be cleaned from cellar to attic. And nobody's doing anything else until it's done. Your ma's right. You ought to be ashamed trying to get out. Ain't <laughs> <laughs> that just a lot? Just as I was getting ready to go to work, I come down on the case of lumbago. Hit you just about the same time last year, didn't it? Zero hour. <laughs> hey, you wouldn't believe how I was looking forward to pitching in. I can hardly bend. Feel all right when you stand up straight? Yeah. Oh, good. Then you can stand up straight and clean the windows. <laughs> We live in the jet age. You'd think they'd invent some easy way to do spring cleaning. Yeah, like a little magic box that you set in the middle of a room and it dusts and sweeps and scrubs. Yeah. <laughs> Shall we try a little old-fashioned elbow grease while we're waiting for somebody to drop one of those magic boxes in our laps? <laughs> Whoops. And things. Now you take those outside and you lose them. <laughs> Uncle Joe. Hi, Kate. Been over an hour on this window. You've worn your finger to the bone. It ain't mine. He framed me. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, Mom told me to carry him down to the train so Charlie and Floyd can take him into Hooterville for the rummage sale. I ain't finished reading them yet. The Literary Digest? They went out of business in 1938. <laughs> we'll never get this place cleaned out if nobody wants to throw anything out. What have you got there? Old hats. Those are my good hats. Take them back. You don't throw away your hats. I don't see why I have to throw away my magazines. All right, you keep your magazines and I'll keep my hats. But that's all. There'll be no more saving. From now on, everything goes out. Except that. Well, Mom, you'll never use this again. This is when you had an 18-inch waist. You never know. I might dye it down to that size again. More chance of literary digest coming back. <laughs> you lost the camera? Yes, sir. Where? Well, uh, I'm not sure. You see, I hit this turbulence, and I was so busy fighting the controls that I... Show me. I'm sure it must have happened... East of the Rockies. <laughs> well, at least we know it's not in Disneyland. <laughs> East of the Rockies. Well, and all we have to worry about is this 2,000-mile hunk of real estate. We'll find it, sir. It shouldn't take more than two or three days. Two or three days? Are you forgetting that little device that's set to explode 12 hours after the camera is disconnected from the plane? No, sir. Major Milbank. The colonel, sir. Major. <laughs> we have less than 10 hours to locate that box and deactivate it. I only hope that no one else finds it. It's a miniature bomb. What's that? I don't know. I just found it over there. Put it here with the rest of the junk for Charlie and Floyd. Oh, it might be valuable. Hey. 
Valuable? What is it? Could be one of them doohickeys. What doohickeys? The electric kind. It's got wires on it. <laughs> get rid of it and get rid of all of this. Where did you lose the camera? These figures are just off the computer, sir. Figuring airspeed, drift, and... Uh... Where did you lose the camera? <laughs> We've narrowed it down to less than a thousand miles, sir. <laughs> thousand miles. Took us three years to develop it. Now it's going to take us five years to find it. <laughs> Captain Milbank. Uh, pardon me, sir. Major Milbank. Captain Milbank. <laughs> <laughs> You go back to that computer room and tell them to put on more computers or, or whatever else they need. We've got to find that camera before it explodes. <laughs> Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe, look what I found under the desk. Oh, yeah, Kate. I was going to throw that away. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Your sir. <laughs> Five hundred miles. Captain Milbank, that's as big as the state of Rhode Island. Oh, but sir, Lieutenant Milbank, <laughs> we have exactly five hours left. Now, you find me that box. Yes, sir. <laughs> we ain't gonna throw this away. But Mom told us to clean everything out of the attic. You know what that is? That's a radio. Oh, you're putting us on. What are all those knobs for? That's for tuning it in. In the old days, they didn't pamper the audience. If you wanted to listen to Merton Marge, you had to work for it. <laughs> you mean that thing still works? Plug that in, I'll show you how to get distance. <laughs> I think we're getting something. Yes, the dust bowl. <laughs> Joe. Shh, I can't hear. I hear you correctly, Lieutenant. Hooterville? That's where the computer said it landed, sir. Hooterville? Since when have we been using a funny computer? Well, I could have the figures checked, sir. There's no time. Well, this is General Loomis. Give me a radio station in Hooterville or any city nearby. Hooterville! Of course it's in the United States! <laughs> Contact the landing field and have a jet warming up for us. Yes, sir. Now. What? W K P K W Pixley? <laughs> now put them on. Yes, this is an emergency. I want you to put a bulletin on the air right away. Program of organ music from Who's Car Wash? It works. You ever hear a tone like that? Never. <laughs> Neighbors, we got an important announcement for you from Washington. Immediately following, we'll get back to our program of organ music coming to you direct from Hendrick's Car Wash in the heart of downtown Fixley. <laughs> Here's the announcement. They want us... They was just going to make an important announcement from Washington. I've got an important announcement from Hooterville. Nobody's going to get any supper until we finish cleaning the hotel. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Control Tower to Air Force 721. Lieutenant Milbank, what is your ETA, Hooterville? Come in, Lieutenant Milbank. Sergeant Milbank? <laughs> is this Air Force 721? Yes, and this is General Loomis. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, would you mind putting Sergeant Milbank on? <laughs> I did. Well, how'd it get in the cupboard? He must have drug it in. <laughs> well, you drug it out. <laughs> no, you can't keep it. <laughs> We've got another load to take down to the train. Anything in here you want us to take? Yeah, take this. I thought we already threw that away. We did, several times. <laughs> Charlie, look, the literary disgust. 
Literary Digest. <laughs> I thought they went out of business. They did. These are old copies. Of what? The literary disgust. <laughs> this is the last load, fellas. What is this? Oh, we found it near the tracks. Does it belong to the train? Let me take a look. There's nothing like that on the train. Of course there ain't if it fell off. <laughs> well, throw it in. Well, back to the mop and broom. Let's get going, Floyd. <laughs> Another one of them Masonic booms. Must. <laughs> on the Pixley radio station? No, I don't listen to them anymore since they stopped broadcasting Merton Marge. <laughs> it's a black box about this big. It's, it's got two wires attached to it. You say it fell out of your plane and landed somewhere around Hooterville? That's right. Oh, that could cost you $10 or 10 days. We got a litter law in Hooterville. <laughs> I impress upon you how important this is. That box is dangerous. It's going to blow up. What's going to blow up? Well, stay out of this, Floyd. This is official government business. This is General Loomis. No fooling. What country are you with? <laughs> At the present, the United States. If I don't find this box within one hour, I don't know who I'll be working for. Have you fellas seen a black box about this big with two wires attached to it? No, the box we found was about this big. <laughs> You mean you know where it is? Yeah, it's on the train with the literary disgust. <laughs> Let's go! It's not there, sir. That's funny. I tossed it on myself. Hey, maybe you tossed it too hard and it went out through the other door. <laughs> where did you load this train? Shader S. Where's that? Well, 25 miles that way. How fast can you get us there? Well. Once upon a time, we made her in 68 minutes. Can you make it any faster? He had to stretch the truth to make it in 68. <laughs> Look, that thing's gonna blow up in less than an hour. Instead of talking, let's get going. He's a good man, General. Ever think of making him an officer? <laughs> Move out! How, uh, how fast are you going? My lunchbox vibrating? Yeah, 45 miles an hour. <laughs> Don't you have some kind of an instrument to tell you how fast you're going? Got a speedometer. Where is it? My lunchbox. It's busting. We don't want to lose it. What? What's your steam pressure? Oh, somewhere between 100 and 192. <laughs> hey, what's that red zone mean? Jump. You fly one of them jet planes? <laughs> Must be pretty dangerous. Well, that's the last room. And I must say, you all did a good job. Gonna take my nap now? After we inspect the downstairs. <laughs> Come on, let's get it over with. Let's take a look at the kitchen. Then we got 35 more minutes. We gonna make it? If we stay on the track. How fast are you going now? Take a look at my lunch pail. Is it leaking coffee? <laughs> Yes, and we're doing 55. <laughs> Never gonna make it. Floyd, what's the pressure now? Oh, it's reaching the part where there ain't no numbers. <laughs> and you got a safety valve? That's in my lunchbox. <laughs> Johnny, you better whistle down a couple of pounds. Now, 
where do you think it fell off? Let's see. I was standing right over there. Well, let's go look for it. We've only got 15 minutes. It's as clean as I've ever seen it. Then are we through? Until next spring cleaning. Now can I take my nap? Oh, go right ahead. But keep your feet off the couch. <laughs> Am I dead? <laughs> Me too. Well, it ain't here. Well, what do you suppose it is? Well, could be somebody found it and took it up to the hotel. You fellas keep on looking. Come along, Sergeant. Yes, sir. Oh, you don't know what a relief it is to have everything neat and clean. Madam, have you seen a black box? I beg your pardon? Who are you? General Loomis, the United States Air Force. Oh, well, I, I'm Kate Bradley, and that's my uncle, Joe Carson, and these are my daughters, Billy Joe. Have you Betty? seen a black box with two wires attached to it? It fell off of Corporal Milbank's plane somewhere around here. <laughs> Corporal? <laughs> what is it? It's a new aerial camera. Don't say anything, Kate. There may be spies. <laughs> but you know where that box is. Tell me. There is a detonating device attached to it that is set to go off in exactly 12 minutes. We don't have it anymore. We gave it to Charlie and Floyd. They said they might have lost it down by the tracks, but we can't take any chances. Could anybody have brought it back here? No, I... Wait a minute. Here, boy. Here, boy. He might have dragged it back. Yeah, he took a liking to it. He don't have the same taste as regular dogs. <laughs> Where would he put it? Well... Look, come on, think. This whole place may go up. We just cleaned it. <laughs> Where does he hide things? Under the porch sometimes. Corporal, under the porch. <laughs> yes, sir. Where else? The kitchen cupboard. I thought I told Look, you... Look, is it in there? No. <laughs> We have to find out if he brought that box into this hotel. Well, ask him. He's very smart. Ask him? Hmm. <laughs> now, look, son. <laughs> Do you know where the box is? <laughs> B-O-X. <laughs> That's a book. Stupid dog. You wouldn't want him in the Air Force. He can't even spell. It's not under the porch, sir. And Charlie and Floyd couldn't find it down by the tracks. Eight minutes. Well, we just have to search this hotel from top to bottom. <laughs> waited till tomorrow to do my spring cleaning. It's not upstairs. A minute and a half. We'll have to evacuate the hotel before it goes up. Oh, but we Everybody can't out! Sure, girl. <laughs> Uncle Joe. I can't let him die. No. <laughs> General, if the little box is in the hotel and it goes off, we'll... I'm sorry, madam. 45 seconds. Where's the dog? Oh, my goodness. Here, boy. Here, boy. Hey, you can't go in there. But the dog. Look. Go oh, get it. Me? You. Colonel. Colonel. Yes, sir. Here you are, sir. Yeah, no, no, we're disarming. Well, I don't know how, sir. Me neither. Well, 
Well, madam, the United States Air Force. <laughs> I don't want him to get too attached to the general. He might drag him into the kitchen cupboard. <laughs> Junction. Junction. 